Hi, I'm Maggie Maratzis. I'm one of the five agriculture teachers here at Heritage High School. Um, welcome to our farm. We're so glad to have you guys taking this virtual tour. Uh, our students in agriculture range from age, uh, grades 9 through 12. You can take agriculture classes all four years when you're at Heritage High School. Um, starting with your freshman level course, that's just a basic introduction to agri-science and agriculture, all the way up to your senior year when you can take stuff like agriculture, government and economics, or floral design, or veterinary science, or horticulture science, or agriculture mechanics. There's pretty much something for everybody in our program and there's a wide variety of projects that the students can get invested in and get interested in after school hours are done. Um, so these projects, we really emphasize what's called hands-on learning in agriculture classes. That's different from like a traditional ag or a traditional science course. We really like to have students getting out there and doing something and learning about the concepts in a very direct way, rather than just sitting there and learning it out of a textbook. So these are all of our breeder sheep. These are the ones that make our market sheep that we take to the SoCal Fair. And this is Titan, our ram. He helps with the, he um, breeds with these so we can get the market sheep for SoCal Fair. Now, do you have to shear these sheep? Is that yes. your job? As a farmhand, you will help in the process. That is in um, late May when they all give birth and we have the little sheep. This so one's friendly. We have one male and the rest are female? Yes, male. So do you have any experience on a farm before this or? No, my first opportunity at this farm was raising a market, a market, a market pig. Then I got this opportunity to help with the goat and sheep. And how about you? I had a little bit of experience. I used to volunteer at uh, ranches around the area, so I'd get experience with working with sheep and pigs and goats and all that good stuff. And also my job, I work for a petting zoo company, so I get to learn how to take care of them, how to properly feed them. And yeah, so I've had some prior experience. So is this something that you want to do beyond high school? Or? I'm thinking about it. I have other options that I am also thinking about also. But if I was to go into agriculture, I'd want to become a ranch manager. Welcome, this is the shade house. This is where we put our plants if they're a little older and they're they're allowed to be outside. We do some daily activities would be transplanting, um, weeding, making sure that there's no small insects on the plants. We put them into clusters as the same species and then we make sure that the best presentable ones are the ones we take out for our plant sales. Sarah and I are in charge of the plant sales. They are some of our most profitable uh, fundraisers. As she said, we're in charge of taking all, care of all these plants. Most of these are student grown. So horticulture, just uh, open, uh, nursery and landscape team. All those students are in charge of these plants. Uh, our October plant sale was a complete success. We had a lot of people come and it was simply very, oh, and it was very uh, profitable. What are some of the most popular plants that people want? Uh, most of them are the pines because they're very tall. They're very, um, you can say, they get people's attention. Those are our most popular ones. That's around $3.50. Wow. So what do you do with the funds that you get from this? Uh, it all goes to our program, to FFA, depending on if we're going to buy more plants or are we going to start something new over there at the greenhouse or something at the field or the planter beds. Or it supports like or field trips that we go on. Yes, or it supports uh, field trips or activities that we have planned for our chapter as well. My reason for wanting to do this is it's something that's so interesting and something out of the place. I've never heard of a school that had an ag program, let alone the FFA program. When I got involved, at first I was kind of iffy on it, but now I for sure know I want to do something agriculture when I leave this program. The reason is because it's given me new experience and I've learned something new outside of myself. Not only can I bring back this to my community, but this is also something I've learned and gained knowledge on. 
I'll have this two. is another project that students in freshman or sophomore years can do. They can create their own succulent bowls, and that is considered a science project. That one's name is Batman. Batman. The spot on the back looks like Batman's oh, spot. It looked more like it whenever the hair was shorter, but there's one other back hey, here buddy. somewhere. Probably a sleeve. There's one in there too. Her name's Tiana. She just had babies, so she still has a little bit of milk in her like breeding stock. Oh, okay. So some of them we just got, like these two in this pen, they're smaller. They're from about a year ago. Um, they were shown at the SoCal Fair, or no, there wasn't a SoCal Fair, but they would have been. Um, so these ones are about a year or two old. The rest are a lot older, but these aren't going to be show pigs ever again. They're all too old, um, and they're all used for breeding purposes. Oh, so okay. these are all of our sows, which are the female ones who give birth, and then these last three I know, buddy. This you're, one on are boars, and they're the males you're jealous. that are used to breed all the females. After they're bred by the boars, you do what's called preg checks to see if they're actually pregnant. Once they are pregnant, you then say, okay, they have three months, three weeks, and three days until the, those babies are just about due. The, we'll end up then moving them into our farm or our ark is what we call it. Uh, then those animals are signed there until they give birth. And when they give birth, we make sure that we are there to aid them however they need, whether that's giving them medication or just being there to make sure those piglets are coming out safely. So how do they greet you when you show up on the weekend? They haven't seen anybody they for a while. They ah! scream. Ah! Yeah. Whenever, because they're hungry in the mornings. They get fed once a day. Oh. Um. So they're hungry in the mornings, and they just like scream. Hey, question: What's the average pig? How much do they get? How much do they eat a day? We feed ours four pounds a day. Four pounds a day. But whenever they're smaller, whenever they're real little, we'll have them on free feed, so they can eat as much as they want. Whenever we take, whenever they're like a little older but still kind of like around their teenager, I guess you could just say, age. We usually pull them back and have them on daily diets of like six to eight pounds. And once they reach full size and they're done, we're not trying to grow them anymore, they'll be, um, we'll keep them at four pounds. How much do you think these pigs weigh on the average? Well, they probably have to weigh them, don't you? We don't have to weigh very often because obviously these are our breeders. So all, all we really need to know, make sure is that they are staying healthy um, so that when that time comes around for them to do their job, they can. Uh, successfully but these animals are going to be anywhere from 400 to 500 pounds uh, they uh, a lot of our sows and boars are extremely large animals um, but coming down to the other animals like these guys over here you're going to be looking at probably 300 pounds um, so uh, like Sophie was saying earlier on they're a year getting on two years two years old so that's about 300 pounds and to keep them at that at that average weight we do feed them those four pounds so that they're not growing exponentially but they're maintaining a nice weight so that when it's re they're ready to breed they're still filled out and able to hold all those babies hey buddy <laughs> here they are how many you got in this one pen so wow. in one pen we have 30 as well as in the others this is typically how much are in one okay so what's your job in taking care of them what all you have to do you got to feed them water them so my job is to make sure that this is cleaned out because the water gets dirty in here. So I will have to wipe it down with a napkin. And this feeder right here, I have to continuously feed it and make sure it's at the top. He says that half is good, but I like it at the top because they eat a lot. Okay. The more food is in there, the more eggs they produce. Oh, got a lot so, of eggs in there right now. Yeah, <laughs> you collect each egg and you um, count them um, in a little basket. Typically, we have to write them down in that little clipboard over there. Okay. So far, I've been getting 85 to 90 percent um, effective product from these guys. So right here in this clipboard, we write it down every single day, and so far these are my numbers. Oh, wow. Now, can you tell any of these apart? I mean, do you know certain ones and their personalities? Uh, not in this pen, but in that pen over there, I do. I don't know if you can see it, but there's this one, and then the other ones, they're the lighter ones. Not only do they produce the bigger eggs, but they're mean. They do not like me. They like to be the leaders of those and make them all angry at me. Okay. Do you have any uh, success stories about graduates and what they've gone on to do? Yes. Um, so we have several graduates just off the top of my head. A few that graduated last year um, went on to enter into veterinary programs at major universities that are well known for such a program. Um, and to get into vet school is not an easy thing. So we're very proud of those students. We've had several that have themselves become agriculture teachers like myself. 
and it's always rewarding to see a, somebody that maybe you inspired or you worked with when they were in high school choose to take that same career path and to also work and inspire with students. Thank you.